You know, though, that when Pizarro and the Spaniards went to... No, by the way, no, I don't. And tell me everything. Francisco Pizarro? Don't know him. The Spanish... No, you don't say. Spanish conquistador? He arrived with like 80 men and they went and defeated like 60,000 Incans. Now, he was a sadistic, I mean, completely psychopathic, violent, evil son of a bitch. He and his, you know other spics they would they would go up and just chop um arms off of uh like incans for fun and like Dude. just like just for like just to have a good time just torture dismember they told atahualpa so wait, how do you how do you know about this because your mom's peruvian yeah i mean you just hear about it a lot you know like, i've never heard about it ever you know they went and they were like initially like welcomed by the incans and there's like 80 of them and there's tens of thousands of incans pizarro was like you know they these, they, they find out they have gold and everything, right? Like so much. Yeah. So he and his men are like, we want a room full, like this high and this high in order to give you back your king. I think they took Atahualpa. I think that was his name. And they provided, a, they did it. They, they gave them like a room full, floor to ceiling gold. And then they, they tortured them. They put them into like a bat of like oil and just drown them in the it. King? Yeah. Yeah, they they were like super super. Oh, there's some there's some books I can't read. Oh about yeah. When you get And then they got sick, of course. Uh, uh the, they brought disease oh, which, yeah. which wiped out. And they also had swords and like bayonets and shit and these guys were like, you know, they didn't have anything like that. Do you want to just... know want to know what one badass fucking Peruvian? I say Peruvian, I think cuz he's Peruvian. Simon Bolivar. Yeah. Uh is asked by Colombia. He by the way, he ruled almost all of South America at one yeah, point. Yeah. Sure. He is asked by Colombia to take a step down, just be like the dictator of, of Peru mm -hmm. for a while and let this other guy, I think his name is Ser, be the be a soldier, be like his guy. This guy was so committed to Bolivar. And they go, listen, you got to go up and kick ass so the Spaniards are up there. And he's like, okay. And he was running, he was running. He had, didn't have as many soldiers. And then they were like, fuck it. He's like, let's go punch him in the dick. And the guy's like, you want to punch him in the dick? And one of his soldiers goes, yeah, I'll fucking watch this. Goes up. Fucking shoots his horse in the head and goes, I'm not going anywhere. And they're all like, let's kill our fucking horses. And then they just fucking destroyed an army. Do you know that fucking mentality when you go? Oh, these guys are real By the savage, way, I'm not even man. certain they had guns look back up, then. Look up uh, <laughs> it, like Pizarro's thing. Go to his Wikipedia. That guy did so much. Yeah, scroll down. And, and I've never even heard of him. Right? Showing the defeat of his brother. Atahualpa had been resting. Uh, it might give you the detail here. Okay. Had a force of just 110 soldiers, 67 cavalry. Right, he sent um, to Atahualpa in his camp. Agreed to meet Pizarro the next day. After the let's see, his complacency because fewer than two hundred remained, as opposed to his fifty thousand man army. Keep scrolling for me. How did they beat um, fifty thousand men with? I'm telling you, man, it's insane. Okay, see, he despite fulfilling his promise of filling a room twenty two by seventeen feet with gold and silver, he was convicted of twelve charges that they just drew up. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh, man, they just, they savagely, they savagely decimated those people, Can I, man. The amount of backstabbing that happened, um, the amount of torture, uh, Joe recommended a book one time, or maybe someone else did. I can actually tell you what the book is because I fucking have it on my, Keep all, scrolling. my audio books. Yeah. It, this is the most, oh, my buddy man's. I went to the torture this. museum in Lima once. It was called The Conquerors, How Portugal Forged the First Global Economy. Mm-hmm or empire okay. so this book is so horrible dude if you have silence I, one of my the hardest i've ever slept is when we were doing construction in the house mm -hmm. and you'd hear ranchero music and the mexican dudes doing the construction yeah talking back and forth to each other yeah for whatever reason because i'm hearing it but I, i'm not listening like right. i don't know what they're saying right so i'm not getting interested in the conversation i just hear the that adds up to me because i also people listen to music i'm like i just start listening to the song i wouldn't be able to fall asleep like the conquerors i used to put on the tour bus i put on the tour bus one night right we we eat uh the cbd edible the high cbd edible yeah with a little bit of a thc yeah and i'm sitting there and they're like this portuguese conqueror goes down the coast of africa says to the king i want your i want your daughter and i want you to bring her out yourself or i'm gonna come in and kill all your people and he's like okay okay i got it <laughs> I got it. <laughs> oh Comes God. out oh with his God. daughter and he's like, cool. They all fuck his daughter and then they tie him up because he's Muslim. They shove raw pig down his throat, shove it in with a fucking stick and then shit in his mouth and shove it in with a stick and they're like, all right, go home. And the guy went home and then they came back and they're like, hey, we want your other daughter. And he's like, I'll be out there in a minute. Dude, I'm like, fuck <coughs> this. I cannot live 
Oh that, like God. when you hear about the horror, that's why I couldn't listen to fucking. This is on your audiobook. I was like, yeah, and I'm, I'm like fucking in my bunk going, you know, they shit in his mouth. Yeah. They shit in the guy's fucking mouth and shoved it down with a stick with pork. And who's the guy? Fucking I, some fucking Portuguese dude. I don't even know. I couldn't listen. I was like, I can't listen to this fucking book. It's horrific. It's like the reason. Here's my question. I sometimes wonder, and this is a, uh, I, love, I remember this is a brand new thought. I sometimes wonder, some of these history books, when you read them, yeah, they come off a little racist. Yeah. Like, like you're like, ah. Uh, you're like, hey, it's, it's almost like back then people weren't like all about equality. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like, uh, no, 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 no. Even when you read them. Yeah. You're reading them and you're like, wow, it sounds like the Indians had it coming, you know? <laughs> and then you're like. And then you're like, wait, this was written by an 80 year old white man in 1980. Like, so you start like Joe recommended a book about Native Americans where I kept feeling like, hey, man, I'm losing my compassion for Native Americans in this book. It really? makes them sound really bad. And I'm like, I know that's not the real story. But as I'm reading this, I'm like, wait, they just cut the girl's nose off. You're like, is you're this? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. No, like, and so sense. I wonder, I wonder if because it was written by who it's written, if it's skewed as like, as like, yeah, you know, it's like not the most, not trying to think of the right analogy. It's like hip hop. Okay. Okay. There wasn't a ton of progressive hip hop when we were kids. Like, okay. It was all like, fuck this bitch, suck my dick. Bitches ain't hoes, but shit. Mm -hmm. if, you know, if my friends can't have none, I don't want none. Yeah. Like, uh, cool shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to kill that motherfucker. Yeah. I'll kill your whole crew. Yeah. And then you go, well, of course, that was, it was written by young, affected inner city kids yeah. who, who, that was the life they were living. And then as they get older, they're like, yeah, I wouldn't write that now. Right. Right. Yeah. Sure. Well, then you're looking at, Take the opposite of that. History books written by old white men. And they're like, old white men tend to have some similar viewpoints. And they're like, yeah, the Indians were pretty bad guys. Like, Custard had like a, you know. Mm -hmm. And so you start going like, well, then how can you trust history books? 